Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jeff Dunn. It's Tuesday. My iPad, as usual, has uh, 8% or less. So let's rock and roll, okay? Uh, first off, I want to say, um, you know, a lot of good feedback in the comments, and I really appreciate it. Um, you know, starting to do videos this late in life, I like, I, it's, it's tough to soak things in for me as it was like when I was younger, I could kind of cram for exams and things like that. And the brain just doesn't work as like a sponge as much anymore. And so uh, I'm getting, I, I, I bought some equipment. I'm getting it today. Should be here by like four o'clock. And then I am going to try to make some, some much better high quality uh, YouTube content. And I appreciate you guys bearing with me while I wanted to get my voice out, add my voice to the cause while, you know, while it's still hot, I needed to get it out and I just didn't have the time to wait and get the equipment and learn how to do everything correctly. So thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for all the kind words. And, I, you know, I think a lot of people who are watching my videos, pretty much everybody, I mean, I can tell like you're good people, a lot of very good people. I think... I think an overwhelming majority of the people who are watching the videos, and, you know, some have a, a hundred views, some has 500, and, you know, I have a, a few subs, and I'm very grateful for all of them, but let's just, uh, I, you know, I just want to get this right off the bat, I, I'm starting a Facebook group, it's going to be a hundred bucks a month, okay, I wanted to be very clear with you guys, um, you know, and uh, I hope you will join. I'm not sure what it's going to be about. I just know that I'm going to be fleecing everybody for $1,200. <laughs> Screw off. I'm joking, man. That chick ran for the hills, eh? <laughs> you should have seen your face. You were so happy. For a moment, you were like, ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... I was joking. All right. I don't know if I sold it enough. I probably didn't want to sell it that much. <laughs> like I said, I'm never going to ask anybody for a penny. Uh, I'm doing this because I enjoy it. I love sp spreading awareness and uh, just uh, just wanted <laughs> to make that point. And I wanted to show that clip because I... I you know, Carlos Mencia, what happened with him, whatever. But he's really funny in this movie. He's actually the really the only funny part of this movie. Uh, and um, I don't even remember what this movie was called, you know. But uh, he was funny in it. Uh, he was definitely funny in it. So, um, so Christopher Mitchell, right? So he struck down two of my videos. I'm a newbie to YouTube, right? And I... I love playing him, talking, and then speaking back to this fucking ex-cum-guzzling motherfucking son of a bitch, scamming lowlife scum. I love doing that. And I know that's what you guys love, or most of you guys love. And I just need to work that out with YouTube. I need to get myself covered. I'm speaking with some people. Um, YouTube scan exposures. He's helping me out. Um, you know, so because it was so ridiculous that my videos got taken down. Um, the amount of, of, of content that I use was so it, it was so minuscule as to what others have. You know, so like on this video, I use none of his content. I use some clips. And you will see as I get into it later. And this is, uh, so, but I want to say, okay, as far as my point on the last video about Christianity and him using Christianity and how despicable that is and how he really is the antithesis of Christianity with, you know, how he shows the money and how, you know, everything's built around money. I mean, he, like, he's just, he's just so dumb. And he'll just, he'll just use any kind of shortcut. He'll say anything. It doesn't matter. You know, he is just, he got the scammer's book, you know, like how to scam people, how to scam, like, really dumb people, you know, or not dumb. I don't want to say dumb, but, you know, maybe lower IQ, um, 
vulnerable. Look, like I said, we all get scammed. So you could be a very, you could be a sharp person, and you're just vulnerable, and you fall for it. So, like, I don't want to talk badly about those who have been um, ripped off. Uh, so I, I try to stay away from those terms. Um, but obviously, Christopher Mitchell. And I, I'm coming from a different perspective because I've been gambling my whole life. So maybe it's even easier for me. So I'm, I don't want to say like, oh, I'm so perceptive. You know, I'm so perceptive that I tell, I could tell within one second. Now I could tell within one second, less than one second without even, without even clicking to see his video. Okay. But um, I've been gambling my whole life. Like I know how it works. I know how comps work. Uh, I once spent, I, I, I swear, swear to you, uh, 93 days at the Cosmopolitan. And uh, I was not in a great place at the time. And like I said, I'm going to, as time goes on, I'll tell you more about myself. But um, I had just, uh, something really bad happened to me health-wise uh, out of my control. And uh, I didn't know what was going to happen. And so I just escaped. I just escaped. And boy, was that bad bankroll management, you know, because my host did all she could. And I did all I could to, you know, um, and I'll go over some of that in, in further videos, uh, tricks of the trade, try to get, you know, uh, you know, comps using uh, slot machines and stuff like that, that will, that will hopefully return a big portion of your money and give you status, you know, make it look, get your theoretical up. And not you. You never want to risk ten thousand dollars, you know, to get a two hundred dollar room. You know that that's the big mistake that people make. And um, for the most part, I've learned uh, the system. And it's also about relationships and how you deal with hosts. You're supposed to tip them, by the way, uh, a couple hundred dollars here and there. A lot of people don't know that. You know, when they take care of you, you're supposed to take care of them, okay? But that's for another video. And so what I wanted to address here, uh, not just the Christianity, okay, which I think in my last video makes that very clear. But so in his last giveaway, which was Sunday night, he gave away $100. And once again... The winner was somebody who does not have a uh, cash app or and Venmo, any of those immediate ways to send cash. All right. So again, it now it was an Amazon gift card. It was like Steve C. We're pretty much sure it's a it's a fake another fake account, another burner account, and yeah, sent uh, send a hundred dollar gift card at Amazon, and I was sure. At this point, like, you know, maybe he's backed into a corner. Like, we've made it so clear that his giveaways are BS that, um, that, uh, he, you know, he had to at least give away the hundred bucks, but it doesn't look like he did that. He doesn't look like he did that. Not only that, he only had $2,600. Now, the last giveaway that he gave, the last giveaway that he did, all right, where Red Pill won, and it was $17,100, and I made the video which showed this close-up clearly showing that he used prop money in the back. Because we know that he loves showing the money, and, and since that point, it's been weeks where we've seen him really with anything over ten grand, it seems like he's recycling the same six to eight thousand uh, dollars in every video, and that's how he's like putting together these fake testimonials and these fake whatever, and, and he's getting the you know between like he has he has five grand that he says is his buy-in, and then he has you know between zero and three thousand dollars, so. Everything points to him really being at the felt. He's at the felt and, you know, because he's not showing the money. And also, I honestly think that this right here, this photo, this illustration of the, the, 
the difference in texture. And these are all the, you know, the fairly new $100 bills. This clearly shows one is the, in the, in the front, the bottom is real, in the back is fake. Ever since then, he's been really, he hasn't really shown prop money. He hasn't shown a lot of money. And you know how much money he showed in this giveaway? Because he wanted to change things up. Mr. You know, I want to show you 50 G's as much as I can had twenty six hundred dollars in the in the money counter. OK, so look, things are things are going in the right direction. There's no question about it. During the giveaway, um, he makes a few points. I don't really want to get into the weeds with him, but. He, the thing that he doesn't get about proof, for instance, you know, we know that Pick Three World and Red Pill and some others are are fake accounts, right? So he brings Stacy out at a part, you know, uh, during the video to show, and then Red Pill's typing, like, "I'm not Red Pill, I'm not." Okay, maybe Stacy isn't Red Pill. You guys, uh, like, you don't have a lot of friends, but. You surely have another human being that can sign in and type. I mean, this guy's is he's just it's unbelievable. You think that proves anything, Christopher? How fucking dumb are you, bro? I mean, this fucking guy is the dumbest motherfucker I've ever it's just unbelievable. Like he's the kind of guy who would be like accused of a crime, right? And they have DNA and they have witnesses and they have fingerprints. And they, they, have, they, they have a full confession that he made, all right? And then stay, he gets his wife, Stacy, to say, oh, Christopher, he was at home sleeping in bed next to me all night. And he thinks the jury's gonna acquit. <laughs> Gonna forget all that other evidence and be like, oh, the wife would never lie to get, you know, like you, the wife would never lie to get uh, her husband off, you know, this charge. So we're just gonna throw out all the other evidence. Also, Christopher, like just because like we're not perfect on everything and everything, like we, you might actually say something that's. 30% true or 20% true or even 1% true like you think that matters you're a bullshitter you've been caught in so many freaking lies and I'm gonna do I plan to do a, a video just cropping out your lies but I have to I have to get that straightened out with YouTube before I do that because I don't want the copyright strikes okay so you know, we'll we'll deal with that. Um, you know, we'll deal with that in the future. Like I said, um, I just want to see if there was anything. Okay, so just a few more points with uh, with this giveaway with Christopher, right? So I've made a lot in my videos that oh, he's a Christian, but he doesn't ever say what church he gives to. He just says, oh, we give money, some you know, we give money in tithes and offerings or whatever. Because he's so freaking lazy, can't, well, I mean, like, if he lied about giving to a specific church, I mean, but he obviously doesn't, he, dude, he can't even give the, give the giveaway, okay? He does not give a penny to anybody, okay? So, I said, why doesn't he give any of his proceeds to charity? So, during this giveaway, this phony giveaway again, and report is asked because he's inflating likes, during this giveaway, Pick Three World donates twenty five dollars. I mean, these people, unbelievable, unbelievable. The tra how transparent, just how horrible of scammers they are. It's just unbelievable. You guys are so bad. You are so bad at this. <laughs> All right, and it's it, figure something else out. Okay. Back to MLM, baby, okay? All right? Get that MLM ready, but don't do it in Ohio, okay? Go somewhere else, like I said. Or, like I said in, in another video, go to Idaho, become a, a coach on how to grow potatoes more efficiently, okay? 
<laughs> All right, so now in this in his last uh, video giveaway, he says he gives twenty percent of his <laughs> change your life vlog <laughs> merchandise or any donations to charity. Now, we've watched all his shit. He's never said anything like that. And you can bet your ass if he's thought to say that, he would have said, like he wouldn't actually do that, but even if he thought to say it, he would he would say, he would have said it. So, you know, thanks for listening to my video, asshole scumbag, cum guzzling bastard. By the way, I'm not homophobic. I just it's just fun to say taking my videos down and then you're you're you know what you're not stealing my content you're stealing my intellectual property all right i'm making you a better scammer i don't mean to but like yeah i mean yeah you should have said that you were that you were giving 20% to charity you got to look up the charities though i bet if like now you could google them but i i bet if i met you Right, and I said, name five. I, here's a hundred dollars. Name five charities. Name five five hundred one c. You know, uh, that they were give, They're given the exemption by the IRS. Actual charities in one minute. And here's a hundred dollars. Dude couldn't do it. Name five churches. Actual churches in the United States. I don't even know how many thousands of churches. Name five of them. I, you probably couldn't even name St. Patrick's Cathedral. I bet you couldn't do it. Now, now, like, if he watches this video, he'll Google it and whatever. And I don't know. And the last thing I want to say is I made on my video with Sample and Brunson Effects, and I'm going to probably make one more video real quick before I, I go into this learning period about Brunson because he has not posted anything since my last video, which addressed him. And uh, it's very strange. So um, I, uh, I have some thoughts on him, but we're going to put that in another video. Um, but I, I mentioned that Sample and him do pattern recognition scam, okay, with Baccarat, which is you look at the scorecard and you're like, oh, the scorecard's trying to make a pretty little butterfly here, so it's going to go back to banker, it's going to go back to player. Like the scorecard has a memory, you know. And the scorecard, like I said, Oh, it's been 17 players and only 10 bankers. Like, I feel really bad. You know, the, 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 uh, <laughs> the shoe has more empathy, which isn't saying much because he has zero, uh, than Christopher Mitchell. So the shoe's like, we got to get some bankers out going here, guys. So let's get the, let's get this pattern. And let, let and for sample and Brunson effects, let, let's, uh, let's do some, uh, Let's make a pretty little, uh, I don't know, a little butterfly, a little whatever, uh, you know, maybe the, the Statue of Liberty. Um, it's, it's just, it's just ridiculous, okay? And, um, and so in his video where he's saying, I'm going to charge everybody $1,000 and show these scorecards, well, pattern recognition is what he's what he's going with. What I'm saying is the scam is what he's using. So you're welcome, Christopher. You strike down two of my videos. Thank you, YouTube. And then you steal three three or four of my ideas of what you know you're totally missing, you know, <laughs> in your scam. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Now uh, I thought I would do something fun, so what I did is I uh, I wrote to some celebrities and trying to spread some awareness of uh, Christopher Mitchell, and I thought it would be nice to maybe see if I, they would send something back or they would say, uh, and, and, and some of them did, and some of them uh, actually sent uh, a clip from a, a, a movie or a TV show that they did that encapsulates their feelings about Christopher Mitchell. And uh, this is all fair use stuff. It's all public stuff. And I only use small clips. And uh, I wanted to go, go to it. Now, the only celebrity that spoke direct to camera was Robert De Niro, the great Bobby De Niro. And I couldn't believe that he sent this in. 
40 seconds just eviscerating Christopher Mitchell, speaking directly to camera, and like this is great stuff. So let's let's give it a listen. He's so blatantly stupid. He's a punk. He's a dog. He's a pig. He's a con, a bullshit artist, a mutt who doesn't know what he's talking about, doesn't do his homework, doesn't care, thinks he's gaming society, doesn't pay his taxes. He's an idiot. Colin Powell said it best. He's a national disaster. He's an embarrassment to this country. It makes me so angry that this country has gotten to this point, that this fool, this bozo, has wound up where he has. He talks how he wants to punch people in the face. Well, I'd like to punch him in the face. This is wow. Bobby D. Bobby D. I couldn't have said it better myself. And thank you. Thank you, Mr. De Niro, for sending this in. It, it taking time. A living legend, one of the best actors of all time. Um, just, I mean, just incredible. And, and like I said, you still got you still got your fastball, Bobby D, because you know you, you threw that right in there, uh, and uh, man, you nailed Mitchell, you nailed him, nailed his ass. I love it, I love it. So uh, I actually I reached out to Joe Pesci, and Pesci like you know he got back and through an assistant, and he's like, listen, there's this little clip in Casino that kind of encapsulates how I feel about Mitchell, but like you know. It actually keeps a low profile nowadays, so it's it's not as you know it's not as great as what we got here with uh, De Niro. But uh, let's give it a listen, right? Yeah. You call yourself a man? You know you're a lying, low-life, motherfucking, gambling, degenerate prick. You know that's what you are. Two small kids. In so that's a critical. One. That's all we get from Pesci. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I think all like his other uh, clips uh, probably. Uh, wow, five percent. I got to get moving, right? Um, <laughs> probably a little, a little bit too gra graphic. Um, but uh, I will, I will say this. Thank you, Joe. You're a living legend, and uh, any anything that we get from you. Uh, very appreciative. So, so thanks for bringing our attention to this clip. And if this encapsulates your feelings about Christopher Mitchell, uh, we very much appreciate it. And uh, and uh, hope we do another movie, Joe, because you, you're just terrific, and we all miss you. Um, so the next is I I, uh, I sent to to a lot of the the, the cast, uh, Timothy Oliphant, Ian McShane. Uh, some other members of the cast of Deadwood, um, which was a show uh, 15 years ago or so. Uh, it was a Western, but it was just different, you know. And I don't know if you've watched it or not, but they spoke in iambic pentameter. And the words, it was like poetry, you know. And so I, I thought that maybe, like, they could, they could, you know, I sent them the things about Christopher Mitchell. And I thought... Maybe they could give me a mashup of some of the beautiful words, some of the beautiful words and the dialogue that was written in that show to express, you know, through the, the art of acting as the skilled thespians they are, you know, what they really feel about Christopher Mitchell. And this is pure beauty. That's such a beautiful tape. Thank you. Thank you. To, to the to the cast of Deadwood, uh, and uh, I, I just I just couldn't be happier. And just 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 this is just beautiful. So sit back and just listen to the poetry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so beautiful. I miss the show. I mean, where else are you going to get writing like that? You know, they said that I cried in that video, and you know my voice was only hoarse, but I'm I'm almost like crying right now. I'll admit it because 
when are you ever going to get a show with the writing so beautiful and they encapsulate Christopher Mitchell so perfectly. It's just so beautifully done. Beautifully done. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for helping spread the awareness. Just the poetry. It's just beautiful. That's all. I, I, I just can't thank you enough. And, you know, I, this one really surprised me because I, I actually I reached out to Daniel Day Lewis's people. And he's a three time best actor. Oscar winner, okay? And I was not thinking to hear back anything. Not thinking to hear back anything. And, you know, actually, I did hear back. And they said this snippet in There Will Be Blood, in which he won one of those Oscars for, truly encapsulates. He's, they said that, that, that Mr. Lewis watched uh, the videos that I had uh, told him to watch about Christopher Mitchell, and he said, "This this scene here, this is how he would speak to Mr. Mitchell, if 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 he saw him in real life. This is life imitating art." If you have a milkshake, and I have a milkshake, and I have a straw. My straw reaches across the room and starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. Oh my goodness. Daniel Day Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. The be one of the best actors ever. And, oh, and, and, and just that he says that this scene right here where he drinks Eli's milkshake encapsulates his feelings. What is, what's brought, what, 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 what enrages him when watching this scammer, this son of a bitch, this scumbag, Christopher fucking Mitchell. It's just, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Daniel Day. Daniel motherfucking Day Lewis, baby. Great stuff. Great stuff. So uh, something that really uh, actually surprised me was that Christopher actually got two A-list celebrity clients, both very disgruntled right now. So this one, this client here is leaving a voicemail because he had recently paid for the one-on-one -on -one coaching and the PDF, and he was getting ghosted by Christopher Mitchell. And he was nice enough to send the voicemail that he sent to Mr. Mitchell talking about just how upset he was. Hey, I want to tell you something, okay? And I want to leave a message for you right now, because again, it's 1030 here in New York on a Wednesday, and once again, I've made an ass of myself trying to get you a phone to call you at a specific time. When the time comes for me to make the phone call, I stop whatever I'm doing, and I go and I make that phone call at 11 o'clock in the morning in New York, and if you don't pick up the phone, at 10 o'clock at night, and you don't even have that goddamn phone turned on. I want you to know something, okay? I'm tired of playing this game with you. I'm leaving this message with you to tell you, you have insulted me for the last time. You have insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being. I don't give a... Uh, it's, this is like, guys, from Alec Baldwin... And I look. I'm at four percent juice here, so we gotta go. We gotta move quickly. But from Alec Baldwin, except for maybe three or four hundred occasions uh, publicly in the in the record, he's a very even kill guy. So he's obviously very upset. Another like a big time A list client that he had. Believe it or not, I mean, you're going to be so surprised when you hear this. And I, there's a woman, it's a very quick clip. There's a woman in the clip. I think it might be Stacy who's trying to address his concerns. And he's obviously very, very angry. Uh, let's give it a listen here. 
No. Every consideration to no. reject it, you I'm would sorry. never be happy. Fuck you. Um, Get the fuck away from me. But my daughter is important. All right? Now, you have one more chance. And I mean it. Now fucking go if you want. But I will give you one more chance. <sighs> you make me want to smoke. You fuck my day up. You care about yourself. Yes, Wow. Wow. I gotta say. I gotta say. I gotta say. Mel, you know, again. You know, it, there's a few uh, public. Uh, <laughs> pub, very public incidents where he's kind of lost his cool, but very surprised to see him this upset. And, uh, uh, you know, only Christopher Mitchell can elicit uh, something. Something like, like this. And I just want to thank uh, both Alec and Mel for, for sending the, the, these tapes in and, uh, you know, admitting, you know, I'm sure they feel some shame about being ripped off by Christopher Mitchell, the, the fucking, like, like I said, ex-cum guzzling, uh, degenerate gambling numbskull. Um, but, uh, you know, thank you for, for sending this in, guys. We really appreciate it. Um reached out to John Goodman's people. And John Goodman said, listen, this is what I got back from, from his assistant again. You know, I, didn't, I said, John Goodman said, listen, there's one clip, one clip that encapsulates my feeling when I watch Christopher Mitchell's tapes. So let's check it out. Here you go, Larry. You see what happens? You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens? This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass, Larry. This is what happens, Larry. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass? This is what happens. You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens, Larry? Do you see what happens, Larry, when you fuck a stranger in the ass? This is what happens, Larry. This is what Walter Sobchak, ladies and gentlemen. John Goodman, holy shit. Uh, actually, here, I'm actually reading the email that I got from uh, his people, and they said, John says, simply put in Christopher Mitchell over Larry when you rewatch that, and that's really his feelings, okay? So C Larry, in this, in this sense, is Christopher Mitchell. Um... <laughs> Just great shit. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on low juice here, but thank you. All the, the celebrities that, 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 that came and, and helped spread the awareness about Christopher Mitchell. And, and thank you for your time. I know it's very valuable. So appreciative. And I hope, uh, I hope it's enlightened a lot of you watching this video and you've gotten some enjoyment out of it. Real quick. Subscribe, like, share, if you like to. It helps me, okay? It helps me out, all right? Give it a throw, uh, throw it a sub. It's not a commitment. I'm not like, you know, there's no data mining here or whatever. Uh, throw a sub, throw a like. I don't care what you do with the notification bell. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Running out of juice. Got to keep moving here. YouTube scammers, uh, YouTube scam exposers, doing some great work. Uh, go to his page. Uh, he's got a, a, a podcast on the forum tonight. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you probably have to reach out to him if you want to be a part of that. Um, and you see here, he's doing something on Jason Sample that is going to blow the freaking roof off. And you can watch part one of two, all right, which is kind of like a teaser for it. And um, also uh, coming soon is part two, uh, again, showing Christopher Mitchell uh, exposing him, which is, uh, you know, do, he's just doing great work. And I just want to give him a quick plug. Uh, lastly, I'm going to play us off. I'm going to play us off the air with a little extra. Deadwood sent another clip. Another clip of the be beautiful iambic pentameter, the beautiful poetry that encapsulates how they feel about the low-life, degenerate, scumbag, motherfucker, Christopher, mother, 
fucking Mitchell, you scanning mother effer. And I just, uh, it's, again, it's so beautiful. It'll bring you to tears. I will talk to you all soon. I'm going to play it, play us off the air with this beautiful clip. Thank you, Deadwood. Thank you, everybody. Sucker. Cock sucker, 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 cock s